Dermide, 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 <laughs> Dermide Relief Barrier Moisture Riser. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, let me try again. You guys seem to really like these types of videos and I love doing them because I like sharing with you guys what's kind of popular in Korea, new Korean beauty products and just things I'm generally excited about and I partnered with one of my favorite companies which is Style Vana. They have all kinds of great selection of brands, products, everything K-beauty you could think of. I know this is also the exciting part of the video before we get into what's actually in this big old box that they sent me. If you use this code right here for the next two weeks, you can get 12% off your entire order and that's with no minimum order. I haven't seen a company do that in a really long time, so that's a really good discount. And on orders of $39 US or more, there's a 22% discount. And in two weeks, the discount is still gonna be valid, but it's gonna decrease a little bit. So again, everything is gonna be listed out here as well as in the description box below. Okay, let's get into this big old box without much further ado. Okay, so first things first, I am seeing a lot of this new line from one of the brands that I have loved for a very long time. So the brand is Skin1004 and I have made full blown videos on this brand because I absolutely love this brand. And if you guys are a fan of Centella Asiatica, this is basically the OG brand for that ingredient. I really feel like this is the brand that brought popularity to that ingredient and of course skin 1004 would come up with it this is the pro bio line and this is going off the idea of probiotics and what they've basically done is they've taken centella asiatica and fermented it so it's now broken down in a form that is more readily available for your skin but on top of that they have several different forms of centella asiatica in this so instead of just like giving you one centella asiatica they give you all different types of forms here just so you guys know i have the pro bio Sika essence toner the pro bio Sika intensive ampoule which i'm really excited to try and then we also have the pro bio Sika enriched cream so these are sensitive skin friendly, like I said. I do have sensitive skin, I am eczema prone, I have dry skin, so I think these are gonna work really nicely on my skin. They are fragrance free and they're also colorant free, so sometimes I know it's hard to find good, solid skincare products that feature those. If you look at the ingredients of these products as well, they are very conducive towards skin barrier recovery for dryness for helping just in general with skin irritation. So if you're irritation prone, if you have redness, dryness, eczema, like I said, you'd probably really like this line. By the way, like I said, I did look these products up a little bit so I could share them with you guys more informatively. But when I was looking at the prices on Style Vana, I mean, I know they have good prices, but some of these products were like half the price on Style Vana compared to other websites or other retailers. So as always, not only am I impressed with Style Vana's brand extensiveness, but I'm also impressed by their prices. Now on the topic of Skin 104, this was something I believe I asked them to send me. And this is the Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Water Fit Sun Serum. This has an SPF 50 plus PA quadruple plus, and I was super intrigued by the idea of a sun serum. I know with the formulations of sunscreens and sun products in general, they are becoming a lot more elegant. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to like elegant textures, they come with a premium price tag and I feel like something like this, which is a bit more affordable, might be really nice. And since we're rolling into the summer months, I am completely coated in sun protection all the time. So sun serum, just honestly, it sold me by the name. I was like, that sounds lovely. It's a brand that I trust and it's gonna be something that's great for my sensitive skin because it does have that Centella Asiatica. So this product I have seen all over TikTok and I have not tried it. And I know it's been around for a little bit of time now, but I just, I had to try it. And it is the Dr. Jart, the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I've seen some controversial thoughts on this and I genuinely feel like this is being used incorrectly, but I have to try it out for myself to make sure that my notions are correct. By the way, this does also feature a little bit of an SPF of 22 PA double plus. And so, yeah, if you have rosacea, redness, irritation, something like this would be really helpful because Dr. Jart is really good at solid, basic skincare, but also it has that like green hue to it. So it's gonna help cancel out the redness in your skin tone. I feel like this is a really good product, but this has been having a moment on TikTok. And again, I'm just like, 
I'm not sure people are using this correctly, so I wanted to pick it up from Salvana and try it out myself. Now you guys might be sensing a theme, but honestly, it's just what I use, and so I picked up this Dermide, 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 <laughs> Dermide Relief Barrier Moisture Riser. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, let me try again. The Dermide Relief Barrier. Huh? <laughs> Gosh. I picked up the Dermide Relief Barrier Moisturizer from Purito. Now, Purito has a lot of, again, nice basic skincare products at affordable price points, and a lot of their products are sensitive skin friendly, which I super appreciate because I feel like a lot of skin types can benefit from barrier recovery, whether you have oily skin, dry skin, eczema prone skin, redness, whatever it is, I feel like a solid moisturizer that's gonna help with recovery is a necessity. And since I'm the type of person, I have dry sensitive skin, like ultra, ultra sensitive skin, I'm always on the hunt for products to recommend to you guys because I know there are a lot of you guys out there who experience the same thing I do. Like you put something on your skin and then my eczema flares up. So I'm excited to see that. I haven't tried this from Perito yet. It's a brand that I do trust with these types of products and this features ceramides in it. So that's gonna be really good for berry recovery as it is kind of like like the helping with the building blocks of the skin. I mean, we are rolling into the summer months, so naturally I also picked up some newer sun products. Like I said, again, with the Skin 1004, I'm always on the hunt for nice sun protective products. And these are both newer products from both of these brands. So let's go ahead and start off with Aviv. This is the Heart Leaf Sun Essence. This is a calming drop. So again, kind of a different formulation than we're used to seeing like a sun cream or a sun block. Something like this is again gonna be a little bit more comfortable on the skin, a little bit more friendly for different skin types like oily or acne prone skin types. It's gonna hopefully wear really nicely under makeup and this features an SPF of 50 plus, PA quadruple plus. And so I'm really curious honestly to see. I haven't, I've tried some skincare from a B, but <gasps> Whoa, it's like literally in a dropper, okay. Wow, oh, it's literally liquid. It's like a water. <gasps> That's amazing. It's not sticky whatsoever. It's very lightweight, honestly, that feels like it just melted into my skin. So I am so excited to try this. I think this is gonna be a product a lot of you guys are gonna like as well, wow. Okay, and of course I had to get another format of sun protection. This is from Mary and May. This is the Vegan Blackberry Complex Multi Sun Balm, an SPF of 50 plus, PA quadruple plus, and Mary and May is a newer brand and a newer brand to me. I see a lot of their products being marketed as not only vegan, but cruelty free, as well as ingredients that are EWG certified or great. So they're kind of caring about their ingredient quality. I also saw that they avoid like 16 harmful ingredients that you'll see featured in skincare a lot. So again, someone like me who is sensitive to a lot of stuff, <laughs> I appreciate that. So like a stick, format and I believe the center here is supposed to be a bit more nourishing for the skin and the outside is that blackberry complex and just to try that doesn't smell like anything really either and it doesn't have any white cast whatsoever that literally went on the back of my hand clear like there's no point in me showing you the back of my hand because it just went on really nicely it has kind of a velvety feel to it a little bit of like that soft matte Again, I feel like oily skin people would probably really like this because it doesn't have any stickiness to it, tackiness to it. It's very lightweight. And so I will apply this onto my face. You guys can see what it looks like on face application. But so far, <laughs> this has been a very successful haul from Stylevana. So this I have seen floating again around K-Beauty spaces a lot. This is from the brand Mbuzin and this is the Super Glowing Essence. This is step three and how Nubuzin works is they like step their skincare products so it's a lot easier for people to figure out. And so what this is supposed to be really good for as an essence is it's very high in fermented ingredients. So that's really nice for essence based products since essences are a lighter consistency. They're gonna A, absorb into the skin very quickly, but also B, because they do have those fermented ingredients that are broken down smaller for your skin to accept. It's just like the perfect way to get ingredients into your skin 
as one of the first steps of your skincare routine. So many different things in here. If you're a fermented fan girly like I am, you would probably really like this. And I haven't actually tried this, so I'm gonna have to give it a go. Looks a little bit thicker than a lot of essences I've tried, but still watery. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit thicker, I can see. Super glowing essence. I've heard people swear by this. So we have a couple makeup products that I am super excited about. The first one that we have here is from Kaja. This is the Don't Settle Flexible and Seamless Concealer. I picked out the shade 5 Fortune Cookie. I hope this is correct. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks like that's gonna match me really nicely. I'm always on the hunt for concealer because, I mean, honestly, I use concealer almost every day, even if it's kind of like a no makeup day. I usually just try to put a little bit underneath my eyes just to make myself feel better. I'm trying to like expand my experience with the brand Kaja in general because I know that they are a little bit more accessible. I know that they kind of are a branch between like Western beauty and K-beauty trends and so, I feel like they're a very good transitional brand for people who are into kind of both types of aesthetics. And I wanted to try this. This is one of the products that I haven't tried. I got this blush from Romand. This is in the shade Blueberry Chip. This is the Better Than Cheek, by the way. And it is like the most beautiful, kind of mauve pink. It's a little bit softer. I just feel like this would be really pretty like spring summer color, something a little bit softer, something a little bit more wearable. And I love these better than cheek colors from Roman. They just go on really nicely. They don't look chalky on the skin. And yeah, so I got this one as well. And this is just like so pretty. Roman is like doing really good things lately. I'm a lip balm girly. I just am low maintenance when it comes to my lip product. So I picked up this one from The Sun. This is the Essential Tint Lip Balm. And I got mine in the shade RD01. It's just like a nice, ready color. And to show you guys kind of what it looks like, there's some opacity to it, so you'll still see like your lips underneath it. But it's just gonna give you a little bit of that like reddish tint to it. I feel like I'm over explaining this. There's really not a lot to this. I mean, I have a little color on, but. Mm. Ooh, that feels really good on my lips. I'm gonna have to try that on bare lips, obviously, but. Mm. And there's like a nice click to it. Do you hear that? I feel like that's gonna be really nice in my purse and I'm not gonna have to worry about the cap falling off because that's a big problem I have with the lip balms that I throw into my purse. We are on to the last two products that I got from Salvana, but they do go together because they are from Lador. These are the Moisture Balancing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have been really into hair care lately. I had a big chop at the beginning of this year. And since then, I have been trying to like regrow my hair out long and healthy and thick. I had to cut it because it was just dead. But I have been working on like my scalp health. I have another hair care tool that I have been using that I'll be sharing with you guys in the next couple of videos. And I have been trying to up the quality of the hair care products that I have been using. Now, like I said, I do have sensitive skin, as I've said a thousand times in this video. So trying to find a shampoo and conditioner that's gonna keep my hair healthy and shiny and moisturized is really difficult when I'm trying to avoid a lot of additives that are going to be irritating for my skin because obviously it's my scalp it's still skin but I was looking at the ingredients of this shampoo and conditioner in particular and it looks like I'm gonna have a lot of success with it I haven't used Lodore in a quite some time but I used to use them a bit so I'm excited to get back into them I know that they are a big Korean hair care brand. So yeah, I am super excited to give these a go again and see if it helps keep my hair nice. And like I said, price wise, Stylevana is just the best by far, especially if you use the discount codes that I talked about in the beginning of this video and that I also am gonna put in the description box below. There's really no pricing that can beat Stylevana. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed me going over some new in K-beauty, some popular K-beauty, and just some products I wanted to try in general. Again, a big thank you to Salvana for supporting my channel and sending me these products to try and share with you guys. I know you guys love seeing these types of videos because they do get some views on my channel, so I'm always excited to do them and share with you guys like my thoughts on some of the trends and things that are going on in the K-beauty space. And as always, I'll link everything down in the description box below in case you're someone who needs to see everything written out. 
<laughs> and as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.